Okay. So a power series, right, is trying to make anything, right, in terms of a polynomial form. This one is called polynomial. So a binomial, right, is a power series. Is I want to make any bracket to the power of n in terms of a polynomial form. All right. So now in binomials in O level. So remember, this is actually given in your this is actually given in your formula sheet. Okay. And this one, this formula, right, is quite important to understand. Okay, important to understand. Later, I'll explain to you how to use this. Uh, but what I want to tell you is in binomial, okay, in binomial, so remember when we have 2 plus x to the power of 7, what do we do? 2 to the power of 7 plus, the next one is 7 choose 1. Then this becomes 2 to the power of 6. Then x starts to increase. Plus 7 choose 2, then 2 to the power of 5 x squared, so on and so forth. Understand that? Okay. Now, the difference, you don't need to evaluate it out, but the difference with JC binomial, right, is everything, right, must start from one. Okay. Everything must start from one. Right? Put the start down here. You must start with one plus something to the power of n. Okay. You must start with one plus something to the power of n. Okay, then this TR plus one is called a general term, is used to find or oh, x to the power of r. Okay, and now n choose one equals to n, n choose two equals to n minus one over two, n choose three equals to n, n minus one, n minus two over three factorial. These are the three things that in your O levels you're supposed to know. But actually, it all comes from at the bottom of the page right now for me n choose r is given as n factorial over r factorial or n minus r factorial okay so if i want something like n choose 3 right now i actually get this from this formula you can see so this will be n factorial yeah 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 okay n factorial now the r is 3 right over 3 factorial then n minus 3 factorial. Okay, what does factorial means? You multiply the next number that is lesser than by 1 and until it reaches 1. Uh, what does n fact what does 3 factorial means? 3 factorial means 3 times 2 times 1. Understand not? 6 factorial means what? Uh, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so how was this derived? Now remember what is what is factorial? So the biggest one is n, right? What is the number beside n? n minus 1. What is the number beside n minus 1? n minus 2. What is the number beside n minus 2? n minus 3. Dot, dot, dot. All the way, the last guy is 1. Okay. Over 3 factorial, you just keep. Uh, what is 3 factorial? Uh, sorry, n minus 3 factorial. So this is n minus 3. After m, what is the number beside n minus 3 that is smaller than n minus 3? Oh, n minus 4. n minus 4. Okay. All the way, dot, 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 to 1. Hey, you realize that this guy and this guy cancel. Must understand how to cancel this, can you see? So what is the final answer? N, N minus one, N minus two over three factorial. Three factorial is six, uh. okay? So this is how uh, the N choose R formula uh, comes about. Okay, so all these are basic recap. Yeah, now binomial is a very, very, okay, very, very muscle memory kind of question. Okay, muscle memory kind of question. Number one, remember, you must always start with one plus something or one minus something. So this is one plus two x. Now in JC, right, can you see the power is not? numbers anymore uh, can you see the powers is not numbers anymore okay so i want to teach you how to do this so first it will always be you always start with one okay so look here oh plus now remember n choose one is n so this minus one right yeah will be here then 2x Okay, why? Because this is like n choose one. n choose one is n. Okay, plus n choose two. 
Remember what is n choose 2? Is n times n minus 1 over 2, my right? Okay, so the next part will be the power minus 1, minus 2 over 2 factorial bracket 2x squared. Okay, so then the next one is just all number pattern. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 over 3 factorial 2x cube. They want up to x cube only, right? Now the rest you write plus dot dot dot. Okay, so now use your calculator. So this is equals to 1. Uh, this will become what? Negative 2x. Okay, the thing about this, right, is actually to tell you whether the thing is positive or negative or not. So you, in this case, this is positive or negative? Positive. So this is plus 4x square. Where does the 4x square come from? There, open up this one. Uh, so this thing over here, right, is to tell you whether is it positive or negative. So this is positive or negative? Negative, correct. Negative 8x cubed. Okay? And uh, so this is binomial, just like that. Very easy. And see? Now, when will the series to be valid? So to be valid, right, draw the arrow here. Okay? For the series to be valid, the modulus of 2x must be less than 1. Why? x must be... Binomial can only work if x is sufficiently small. Okay? So this means that modulus of x is less than half. Inequalities concept. If modulus x less than half, in Xuan, in between or left, right? Smaller, below. So it's in between. Okay. So this is binomial. No? You will get power negative 1, you will get power negative 2, you will get power half, you will get power negative half. Okay. Okay. In this over here. Which part do I understand? Understand, huh? This is the answer. Yeah, so when it's valid, it's just the modulus of the whatever x less than 1 can really. Okay, can I? So next is, now sometimes the question wants you to make sure it is ascending power. So very simple, when it is ascending power, when it is ascending power, write down, uh, make sure it is, you factorize the A out. That means if it is ascending power, right, it must be 1 plus, the X must be the numerator. The X must be the numerator. Okay? But if the question wants it to be descending power, then you factorize the, if you want it to be descending power, you factorize right now, factorize the x. Okay? And in binomial, the number one careless mistake that students do is when they factorize out something, they don't bring the power along. Okay? They don't bring the power along. That is the number one mistake that students will do. Oh, you look at the next example over here. 2 plus 3x to the power of half. Okay? I want it to be ascending power of x. So the x must be the numerator. I factorize out 2. So when I factorize out 2, it becomes 2 power half. Must come bring out the power together. So this will become 1 plus 3 over 2x. The whole thing to the power of half. Okay? Can see? Uh, so this is equals to 2 power half just remain. Now I do my binomial for this. 1 plus, can see, this guy is the n, right? Yeah. Half put in front. 3 over 2x. Okay? Plus. They want fourth term, huh? Okay, so ne one, next one. Half. What is the next number here, Isaac? Hmm over 2 factorial 3 over 2x bracket square 
Understand? Okay, how many terms already, Isaac? Three, we need four. So plus, next one. Isaac, tell me. Half times minus half times three over two. Over three factorial. Bracket three over two x power cube. Plus dot dot dot. Close. Okay, equal two power half. Okay, one. Uh, use calculator for this. Plus three over four x. Okay, can mm. use calculator for this. Plus Wesley, do the calculator for me. Me for this. Okay, Jonathan, do calculator for me for this. Okay. You do the yeah this x square one. So key your calculator half times negative half divided by two factorial. Factorial is the x exclamation here. Yeah. Then bracket three over two close square. Oh, Jonathan, do for me the next one. Jonathan, tell me. 27 over. Yeah, la, I know. I left a space here. 128 x cubed. Minus. Minus what? Minus 28. No. Yeah, you have to times 3 over 2 square. Right, 32 x squared. Three marks. Huh? Binomial is three marks. Okay, but binomial will not come in alone in one question. Okay, then close. And that's it. Just leave it like that. No need to multiply the root two inside. Okay. Plus dot dot dot. Huh? No need. Only at the start you need to plus the dot dot dot. After that, no need. Okay, but now if I want descending power of x, so 2 plus 3x to the power of half here, I have to uh, rearrange it first. Okay, so this is 3x plus 2 to the power of half. Factorize out the guy that has the x, not, not just the x only, you know, or uh, factorize out because it must be 1 plus something. Understand not? Factorize out 3x to the power of half. What is left inside, Josh? One plus two. Good. The x is at the denominator. Can see the reason why we want to do descending power is the x must be the denominator because when the x is at the denominator, it goes bigger, right? Means the whole thing becomes smaller. Okay. Can see. Hmm. So this guy is just leave this as here to the power of half. Don't forget to factorize the three x. Okay. Now we do the binomial. One plus the n is half. 2 over 3x plus half negative half over 2 factorial 2 over 3x bracket square plus half then keep on minus Mm. Okay, plus dot 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 close equal. Sean, do for me this. Sean, do for me this. Be careful, the position of the x is very important. Okay, the position of the x is very important. Okay, y'all can work it out also to see whether you are correct. John? Yeah, I'm doing a boom. Say again. I'm doing. Okay. Mm, see whether you can get it correct. It's negative 1 over 18. X, see, see the x squared must own self put. Huh? Must own self know where to put the 
que de nome dele. Anybody can tell me the third one, the fourth one. Correct. Excuse. Okay. Can. Hmm. I'm just going to show you two users uh, of binomial. Okay, no, then uh, the rest of them will be hot. Huh? You change place, I see. Yeah. Okay. So then, uh, do you get 1 over 54 x cubed? Yeah. Yeah. Sean, do you get this? Wait, I did a 1 over 54 one. Okay. Can. Uh, I'm going to show you two users of binomial, okay, before I go to McLaurin series. So first one, expand this, okay, and by putting x equal to this, show that uh, this happens, okay? Now, so square root 1 plus x over square root 1 minus x is the same as 1 plus x to the power of half divided by 1 minus x to the power of negative, to the power of half, okay? So this guy, you, you must always bring it up to make it linear. negative half okay so this is this is power mm. okay now we have to do binomial right for two of them okay so the first guy yeah one plus uh negative one so they want only up to x square only negative one x plus uh, minus one minus two over two factorial x square okay plus dot 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 so that's the first one Wrong lah. Wrong lah. Right. The power is half. Eh? Then 1 plus negative half. Be careful. The negative x must bring along. Can you see? Because this is negative x, right? The negative x must bring along. Okay. Plus negative half. Negative 3 over 2 over 2 factorial negative x squared. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to teach you uh, how to do this expansion. So treat this whole thing as a group. One times this whole group is going to be one plus half x plus three over eight x squared. Okay. Now look here. Look here first. Look here first, guys. When I use this two times this whole group, right? Can you see? The half times the one, right? I'm just going to write here. Plus half x. Can you see? Uh, plus 1 over 4x squared. Okay? Then plus 3, uh, three over 16x cubed. In, actually, in actual fact, I don't need the x cubed. Eh? I don't need the x cubed. Why? Because I the question only asks for up to x squared only. Yeah? Then the last one is just minus 1 over 8 x squared okay see you don't need the you don't need you can write it like that it's easier for you to write down the final answer which is one plus x plus i think it's half x squared five over eight minus yeah 
Okay. So be smart. Those that they don't need, right? Then you don't write. Okay. And oh, they say let x equals to one over ten. Some they are very kind. Actually, most of the time, even in A levels, right, they will tell you what x is. Okay. If you have to choose between x equals to one over ten and x equals to ten, right? Always remember, in order for something to be valid, the modulus x must be less than one. Understand or not? So if you have to choose or oh, between x less equals to 10 and x, x equals to 1 over 10, you have to use the smaller one. Because whatever x is, right, you have to make sure that it's within the range in order for a binomial to be valid. Okay. So now I'm going to put in square root 1 plus 1 over 10 over 1 minus 1 over 10 is equals to, now I put in my x, 1 plus 1 over 10 plus half 1 over 10 squared. So this is equals to square root of 11 over 10 divided by 9 over 10. Equals to, uh, this one just key calculator, 1 plus 1 over 10 plus 0.5 times 1 over 10 close square. 2 to 1 over 200. Okay, 11 over 10 divided by 9 over 10, Jonathan, becomes what? Yeah, equals to 2 to 1 over 200. Okay, square root 9 is 3, 11 over 3 equals to 2 to 1 over 200. Cross multiply. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so binomial is really very, very mechanical. Uh, just make sure you do the steps correct, key your calculator correct, okay, and then okay, you'll be on the right track. Okay, so that, this is one use of binomial. The other use of binomial would be in partial fraction. Okay, yeah, express this in partial fraction. Okay, I'm going to teach you this thing called the cover up rule. Okay. I'm going to teach you this thing called the cover-up rule. So cover-up rule, right, can only be used for case one. Case one meaning this way, okay? Cover-up rule can only be used for uh, case one. So first, you must know that, oh, this guy over the denominator is going to be equal to A over 1 plus 3X plus B over 2 minus X. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to use, okay, cover-up rule. Huh? Uh, so first, you look at this. Okay, or rather not, not this. Look at whoever the denominator is. So look at this. Uh, basically, I know, okay, let x equals to negative 1 over 3. Right on. Okay, now how to find uh, how to find a? So I use this. Use your thumb. Cover 1 plus 3x on the left-hand side. So use your thumb, cover the 1 plus 3x on the left-hand side. So A is going to be equals to, then you sub x equals to negative 1 over 3 into your left-hand side. So A is equals to negative 1 over 3 plus 5 divided by 2 minus negative 1 over 3. So this is called the cover-up rule. It can help you find all your A and B quicker without doing cross multiply. Okay. 5 minus 1 third divided by 2 plus 1 third. Okay, then you will get 2. Okay, yeah, so simple. So the next one, uh, use the cover up rule again. I let x equals to 2. So all you need to do, I, I use, I use, I use red, uh, cover up this one, cover up the red one. Okay, so B is just equals to 2 plus 5 over 1 plus 3 times of 2. Okay, and that will give you 1. Or cover up rule. Whatever you use, you must use your thumb to cover on the left side. If not, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Like if you sub it in, the denominator will be cancelled away. Okay, yeah, but cover up rule can only be used for case 1. 
it helps you find the A and B easier. Okay? If not, you do your normal method of cross multiply and then let x equals to what for the numerators. Okay, so now you have x plus 5 over 1 plus 3x, 2 minus x is equals to a. What is a? 2. Plus b is 1. Okay, so now, and then now they say they want binomial. Oh, what must you do the next step? Joshua. Um, so one plus three. One plus three x bring up right to power negative one. Plus two minus x right to power negative one. Hmm. Can you do binomial for this, Wes? Cannot. Why? You must always start with one. Okay, so this is one plus three x to the power negative one. Factorize the 2 to the power of negative 1, 1 minus x over 2. Okay, must always start with 1 plus something or 1 minus something. <coughs> then now we do binomial. Okay, now we do binomial. Oh, so this is 2, take a big bracket, 1 plus minus 1, 3x plus minus 1 minus 2 over 2 factorial. 3x squared. They want first three terms. Enough or not? Enough or not, Isaac? First three terms. Enough, right? Yeah. Plus, so this is 2 power negative 1. 1 plus minus 1 minus x over 2. Plus minus 1 minus 2 over 2 factorial. Okay, negative x over 2 square. Okay, come work it out and expand and tell me what is your, there is a final, final answer. So basically this one you must, uh, so there will be 2 times this plus half times this and then there will be a final, final answer. Okay, work it out for me. I'll come back. Uh, tell me what's inside the first bracket. 
first Why bracket. Yeah, of course. Times yeah, yeah. Uh, One plus minus three x plus nine x square. Then plus. Uh, I, I put the, the half inside. Oh, you put the half inside already, huh? Yeah. Mm, plus x square yeah. over four, right? Yeah. Okay, final final answer. Three over two. Come on. Yes. Wes. Final final answer. Of course, you must add together, lah. Yeah. Yes. So sure. Okay. okay. Minus twenty three over four. Wait, Mr. Ivan, isn't it five over two? Five over two, thanks. Okay, uh, so this is binomial, just very simple. Okay, okay, I will skip the this one first to find the coefficient x power r. I will skip this first. Okay, let's. I want to do the basics first. Okay, go to the next next page, which is called Maclaurin series. Okay, so before we do my chlorine series, first, uh, you must understand that fx differentiate one time become f prime x, f prime x differentiate another time become f double prime x. Okay, f prime x also have the same meaning as so f double prime x differentiate one more time become f triple prime x. Now, this is called y. This is called dy dx. Differentiate dy dx one more time become d2y over dx square. Differentiate d2y dx square one more time become d3y over dx cube. Differentiate d3y dx cube one more time become d4y over dx4. Okay, so in this next one is called the formula sheet. This is all given in the formula sheet. The first one, it is called, write down, this is called the Maclaurin theorem. Okay, what, what does zero mean? This one means always sub x equals to zero into your fx into your f prime x into your f double prime x into your f triple prime x into your f whatever prime x okay so basically every step you you find it's always good to sub in the x equals to zero if not i will actually teach you a way to find the first one a that is given down here so you already know if you cannot remember this is binomial if you cannot remember how to open the binomial this is the binomial and this is the expansion to be valid. To be valid. Hmm. Okay. All the next four is called standard series. You must learn how to use it. Okay. You must learn how to use it. Usually when we substitute a value of x. Right down. Over here, we can, can replace the x. By usually can be negative x, can be 2x, so on and so forth. Okay, so, uh, so yeah, 10.1a will not come out in your exam, but I want to show you how we usually derive. So you see, yeah, uh, b, right, is you're already given that already, right? 
Well, whenever they want e power x, you don't need to derive yourself. Okay, you just need. I'm just teaching you how to do it. Okay, I'm just teaching you how to do it. Huh? So first, write down. Oh, my f x is equals to e power x. Differentiate f x means f prime x. Differentiate e power x. West become what? Differentiate power put in front. Never bring the power in front. Okay. Differentiate the power x is yeah. Differentiate it again. It is still e power x. Differentiate it again. It is still. Okay. The next thing is right. I want you to know how to use this table. Okay. Draw a table. So you have four of them, right? So make sure you have four. So this one right now, f0, f prime 0, f double prime 0, and f triple prime 0. What does this mean? This means just sub x equals to 0 inside all your three, all your four values. Okay, e power zero, Jonathan. One. So if you sub f prime zero, you still one. If you step f double prime zero, it is still one. All these are one. Okay, so Maclaurin theorem says that f x is equals to f zero plus f prime zero x plus f double prime zero over two factorial x square plus f triple prime zero over three factorial x cubed. All you need to do is to put all your values inside. One plus one x plus one over two factorial x square plus one over three factorial, one over six x cubed. What is fx? fx is e power x, right? Yeah, so this is why we write. Uh, just like that. Understand? So number one, differentiate it. How many times? It depends on the question. Okay, number two, draw the table and sub in the x value inside to find out what are your f0, f prime 0, f double prime 0, f triple prime 0. Sometimes you need f to the power, f4 prime 0, sometimes. Okay, and then just apply it into your, this guy is the Maclaurin theorem. Where is the Maclaurin theorem? It is given and given. Okay, you don't need to memorize, even. So this chapter is actually a lot of free marks for you. Okay, so if EX is equal to this, then what is E power negative X? It is just one plus, I uh, replace the X by negative X plus half negative X squared plus 1 over 6 negative x cubed, which is give you equals to 1 minus x plus half x squared minus 1 over 6 x cubed. Then negative x bracket square is positive. Negative x bracket cube is negative. You know how I get a six or not? Isaac, tell me how I get this six. Three factorial means what? Three times? Well done. Okay. Easy? Easy, yeah. Huh? Oh, so before that, yeah, before I go to the next one, when you all see tangent. Okay, or when you see tangent square, must think of the first I trigo identity that you all learn, which is sine square x plus cos square x. I want to keep emphasizing this because this is not given in your formula sheet. Josh equals to one. Okay, if I divide by sine square, own self must know how to derive the others. Sine square divided by sine square one. Cosine divided by sine, Wesley. No. 
cotangent square x. 1 divided by sine. S and S cannot be together. 1 over sine cosecant square x. Understand? So this is how you get your second, second one. To get the third one, divide by cos square. Okay? Jonathan, sine square divided by cos square. Tangent square. Cos square divided by cos square. 1. 1 over cos square. Secant square. Okay, so basically this is the one that I want you to take note of. Tangent square plus one is equals to uh, secant square. Okay. This tree is not given anymore. So you must know how to find it. Okay, yeah. Use the Maclaurin series to find tangent x up to x cubed. Okay, so how you to use the Maclaurin? Always the first step. Fx is equals to tangent x. Sean, differentiate tangent. Tell me. Uh, differentiate tangent secant square x. Secant square x. Okay, so secant square x is actually equals to tangent square x plus one. Can you see over here? Oh, what is tangent square x? That is fx. The whole thing square. Okay, this part can understand. And right. Okay, next. F double prime x means now I'm going to take this and differentiate. Well, how to differentiate that? Anything with a bracket on the outside is a what rule, Yingxuan? Anything with a big bracket on the outside is what rule? Chain rule, right not? Okay, so differentiate this. Differentiate fx squared. Power bring down 2. The Whatever inside remains the same. Differentiate inside. Differentiate fx. Yingxuan become what? Very good, times f prime x. It's a chain rule. Okay? If you want up to x cubed, means you need to do f triple prime. So f triple prime means, now you look at this. This is a product rule. 2. So this becomes a U, this becomes a V. Isaac, keep who first? U. Then differentiate V, tell me become what? Differentiate F prime become what? F double prime plus keep V. Differentiate U, Isaac, become what? F prime. Close. Simplify the fx inside. F double prime plus this guy is f prime x close close squared. Okay. Uh, once you are done with this. Okay. Once you are done with this. You cannot sub in the zero at the start. You must differentiate finish first. Now we draw our table. How many are there? Fx, f prime x, f double prime x, f triple prime x. Sorry, zero. Uh. Zero. Because we need to sub x equals to zero. Okay? Josh, tangent zero. Key calculator. Uh, 
potential zero. zero. Okay? Then, okay, look here first, guys. I teach you how to look. Oh, so first, you look at this one. It's my equation one. Tangent zero. Zero, right? Yeah. Next one, equation two. Here. Fx is zero now. So zero square. This one, zero square plus one. What do I get? One, huh? Yeah. Mm. Next one. Two. Fx. Fx is zero now. This whole thing will become fx is zero two uh, zero so actually very simple one can see can see right next one f triple prime zero fx this one zero now don't need to care f prime x is how many one right so the yeah very good no? so all you need to do is to now apply the maclaurin theorem which is actually given so which means that tangent x is equals to f zero zero no need to write Oh, just x plus 2 over 3 factorial x cubed, which is x plus 1 third. That's all. Okay. So it's really all about subbing in the values of x, okay? So I'm sorry, subbing in the value of f0, f prime 0, f double prime 0, and f triple prime 0. Okay? Can? By con usually they if they want you to use the formula sheet, right? They will tell you this by considering the Maclaurin expansion of this. Okay, so look at your formula sheet, Isaac, and tell me ln one plus x is equal to what? X minus x squared over two. Okay, that's all. Okay, so which means that ln 1 minus 2x. Replace the x with what, Sun? Negative 2x. Yeah, just replace only. Okay, so when will the expansion be valid? Just always look at this. Modulus negative 2x must be less than 1. Okay. What can you change the modulus 2x to become? This will be the same as modulus of 2x less than 1, modulus of x less than half. Wesley, in between or left, right? In between, minus half, half. How come I can switch from here to here? Sean, explain to me why. Wait, can you repeat? How come I can change from here to here? Explain to me why. Cross modulus gives you like your answer will still be the same if it's modulus. No, no, like modulus or negative one is what? One, right? Mo yeah, so this yeah. Is okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to skip. Uh, the next two first, go to the next one. Okay.
this is called small angle approximation is when you want to okay so basically right can you see when y is sine x equals to x only and y is sine x equals to one minus x square only is because if you look at the standard series over here right yeah anything above x cubed right is big already so that's why we don't need to care about him can you see x anything above x cubed for cosine and what do you get x square over two right yeah tangent is actually just sine over cosine but this one we need to derive ourselves okay so when you see small angle approximation uh, it just means that anything that is above x cubed uh, we don't need okay x cubed and onwards can be neglected okay so for a basically sine 2x is just going to approximate to uh, 2x for b cosine 3x is just going to be approximate to 1 minus 3x bracket square over 2 which is 1 minus 9x square over I think this is small angle approximation is given in the formula sheet. Okay, but C is going to be a bit more tricky. Sine half x times secant x equals to sine half x. Secant is 1 over. Sun, secant is 1 over? Cosine. Cosine. So this is cosine x. Yeah, what is the small angle approximation for cosine x? And that would be 1 minus x squared over 2. Okay? If you leave this like this, and then the question is 4 marks, do you think you will get the 4 marks? No, right? No, right? Yeah. So what is something that you all have learned just now? That's not what you all learned. Before my chlorine is what? Binomia. So this is where binomia is hidden. Wait, Mr. Ivan, sine half x is the x, man. Sorry? Oh, sorry, sine half x is half x. Yes, thank you. Okay, so this is where binomial is hidden. They will not tell you to use binomial to go and expand. So if you leave it like that, you are not going to get them done. Oh, so this is going to be equals to half x or oh, binomial. One plus minus one minus x square over two okay mm. actually you don't need the rest because the rest will give you x power four the final answer is actually just half x because anything that is x cubed and above we don't need the next one is x cubed right yeah can you see this is sq right we don't need so the answer is just half x okay can and d put a star there very common question Oh, you cannot replace the angle right when there is a plus constant down there. Cannot. So this is equals to tangent A plus tangent B. Over 1 minus tangent A tangent B. This is the additional formula, tangent A plus B formula. Uh, this is a tangent a plus b formula is given okay in shang key in tangent pi over four in your calculator and tell me what is it equals to one okay so what is the small angle approximation for tangent is x right
Okay. Ken? Is this the answer? No. Why? Because they always want it in terms of a polynomial. Yeah. So how to make this to become a polynomial? Yes, Jonathan, you say no. So what is the next step? Do the binomial, yes. I always like to change this to one plus x. No? So for x cube, you probably still need the x square. Okay, and then you are going to expand. So this is one plus x plus x square, then plus x plus x square plus x cube. X cube you don't need. Yeah, so you can just write like that. Okay, because anything that you got x cube, right, you don't need. Okay. Uh, and last two, the users of McLaurin. So McLaurin is actually also free marks because you only need to find out f0 f prime 0 f double prime 0 f triple prime 0 and look use the binomial in the small angle approximation okay there are going to be okay two users of binomial that i'm going to show you okay that will be this okay in general sine x right how to get to cosine x how very good not expecting from you but yes well done okay so using the standard expansion right yeah sine x is equals to uh go to the go to the first page tell me what is sine x equals to x plus sorry yeah minus x one more okay so sine x is equals to x minus x cubed over six plus x power 5 you don't know why i i need x power 5 or not because i want x power 4 my later on so i need to differentiate no? 5 factorial is 1 2 0. okay yeah so sine x how to get to cosine x i differentiate so cosine x equals to 1 minus 3x squared over 6 plus 5x power 4 over 1, 2, 0. And that is equals to 1 minus x squared over 2 plus 1 over 24x power 4. Okay, so therefore, cos 2x. one minus two x squared over two plus now of course this is a, a bit dumb example because why you already have the cosine x inside there already but just is what i'm trying to show you sometimes you must see the relationship between the differentiated
Okay. Uh, usually it will be a hands question. No? And usually it will involve sine and cosine. Okay, done. I haven't seen your tutorial questions yet, so maybe later on I will see. Okay, yeah. Next two are standard examples. Okay, I'm going to do one with you. Uh, I'm going to do one with you. Okay, and I'm going to tell you is that right? When we do implicit differentiation, right, we must be flexible. That means, now, can you differentiate this? Yes, you can differentiate this. But is there an easier way to differentiate? Is there an easier way to differentiate? Because this one involves a power half, right? With a chain rule, right? So if you wanted to find an easier way to differentiate this one, right? What do you think you can do? Now, let's, how to remove the square root? Wesley, how to remove the square root? Uh, y square both sides, yeah? Yeah, so I will get like y square. So y equals to square root 5 plus 4e power x, right? Not. But in order to make my life easier for myself, right? I will put y square equals to... 5 plus 4e power x. Okay, now why I do that? Actually, a lot comes with a lot, a lot comes with experience. Okay, a lot comes with ex experience. Differentiate y square, Wesley. Tell me what does it become? Times? Yeah, dy dx equals to differentiate this, Wesley. I know you're very weak in e power. Yes, just 4ex. Okay, can you see? Yeah, then you, is that what they want? Yes, that's almost what they want already. All I need to do is to divide by two on both sides. So y dy dx is equals to 2e power x. Okay, and also, right, I want you all to write down this. y equals to something, label this equation one. No need. When x squared equals to 4, then you plus minus. You square both sides, no need. Yeah. Okay. Label this as equation 2. Now the question asks you for x to the power of 3. Means you need, uh, you when you see the Maclaurin x to the power of 3, right? Means I need, right now, you need d3y over dx cubed. Okay, now I differentiate. That's why you see, you label equation one, equation two. Now I differentiate this again. This is a product rule, UV. In sure, keep who first? Keep who first? Come on, product rule, keep who first? Yeah, doesn't actually it doesn't matter. Keep u first or keep v first doesn't matter. Just keep one differentiate another. Okay, keep y differentiate dy dx in and become what? Yes, d two y over dx squared. Understand not? Plus now you keep v dy dx differentiate u times another dy dx equal differentiate this in and become what? Differentiate 2e power x become what? Differentiate e power x become what? Yeah, still e power x. Okay, simplify. Y d2y over dx square plus this one dy dx times dy dx is dy dx the whole thing square equals to 2e power x. And now you label this as equation 3. Or in fact, Mr. Ivan, will, I will do this. I will do this. Huh? I try to keep the d2y over dx square on one side first. That is okay. Which one? Dy dx square. No. Dy dx square means dy dx times dy dx. Okay? D2y dx square means differentiate dy dx one time. Different thing. You're not the first person who asks. Okay? Yeah. Equation three. Now equation four. This is u, this is v. Okay, differentiate it again. Keep y, differentiate d2y, d3y over dx cubed. Plus, differentiate the u, dy dx times d2y over dx squared. So your implicit differentiation, product rule, quotient rule, all this must be very strong. Okay. It's three marks. 
but it's very easy to screw up. Equals to 2ex, differentiate still 2ex, right not? Okay, now differentiate this, Josh, tell me. What rule? 2 dy dx times? Mm. Understand, remember, chain rule must always differentiate the inside. Okay, so I will have y d3y over dx cubed equals to 2ex minus 2. If you can see it quicker, you can immediately write minus 3. Yeah. Okay, so this is equals to 2ex minus 3 of dy dx times d2y over dx squared. Equation 4. Okay, so one, you have one, two, three, four already, right? Yeah, Sean, what is the next step? You, you sub, right? I'm not yeah, sure. You sub. Draw, before you sub, draw the table. Oh, one, two, I think it's, so this is F zero, F prime zero, F double prime zero, and F triple prime zero. For those of you who are better ones, faster one, or well mathematically inclined one, the table is actually just optional. Okay? Yeah, but the table is really to help you not screw up. But if you don't draw the table and you screw up, then you better draw the table from now on forever. Okay? F0. So you see, that's why you put it number one, two, three, four. It's very easy to see. Okay? Then you can put this in. Oh? F0. Here. No, when x equals to zero, y equals to what? e to the power 0, 1, 5 plus 4, 9, square root 9, 3. Can you see? No, or you can, you just, you need to work it out, okay? So you can say that, oh, for number 1, uh, y equals to square root 5 plus 4, which is 3. So from number 2, can you see the equation 2? Uh, what is y? F0, law. 3 dy dx equals to 2e power 0. e power 0. Oh boy. Uh, you're so much better. Huh? The first, when you join, when you come in January, you cannot even remember e power 0 is 1. So dy dx is what? 2 over 3. Can you see? Uh, that's right. Yeah. 2 over 3. Okay. So for equation 3, where's equation 3? Here. What is y? 3. d2y over dx squared equals to 2 e power 0, 1 minus 2 over 3 squared d2y over dx cubed equal, uh, use your calculator, uh, 2 minus 4 over 9, enter, divide by 3, 14 over 27. Okay, number 4, equation 4, where are you? Uh, here, uh, 3 d3y over dx cubed, so this is 14 over 27, equal 2 minus 3 times of dy dx is what? Huh? 2 over 3. d2y dx squared is what? Huh? 14 over 27. I'll just plug inside. So d3y over dx cubed is equals to, use calculator, 2 minus 2. twenty-six over 81. Okay, or you just need to do is to sub it in. Okay, now apply the sorry, apply the Maclaurin table. The Maclaurin table says that f x is equals to f zero plus f prime zero x plus f double prime zero over two factorial x square plus f triple prime. 0 over 3 factorial x cubed. This is given in the formula sheet. Eh? So now I write down. Oh, therefore, y equals to f0, 3, 
plus 2 over 3x plus 14 over 27 divided by 2 factorial. So that's 7 over 27x squared. Plus, next one is the last one, 26 over 81 divided by 3 factorial. So go and use your calculator. But in fact, because it's just shown, right, you just need to plug it out. Mm. Three marks. This one, 10 marks. You can get this 10 mark. Yeah. You have 10% there. Okay. You can get this. You can get functions. You can get curve sketching. Let me think of what else you need. You can you can pass. You can get some on factors, you know, but vectors do it at the last lah. Oh, vectors do it at the last. Sequence and series do it at the last lah, maybe. You know, yeah. What else? Inequalities, if you can get system. Huh? Can you what? What's that? Ah, go, go. Okay. Then the last part, oh, find the macro series for dy dx. So dy dx just equals to differentiate this lah. Oh, 2 over 3 plus 14 over 27x plus bring the 3 down. 13 over 243 times 3. 13 over 81 x squared. That's all. Huh? Standard question. Okay. Can? Yeah. So next one can try on your own. Let me give you a hint first. Again, usually, right, they will start with a very complicated y equals 2. If you are going to differentiate this, like you are going to get into trouble. Okay. So the first step should be how to remove the e. Very good. So y equals to e to the power of tangent inverse x. Ln y equals to inverse tangent x. Yes, this should be equation one. Then now you start to differentiate. Okay, now you start to differentiate. Okay, yeah, carry on. Try it yourself. Those, the two at home, do you all still need this? No, no need, no need. Okay. Mm. Five and five. Five and five. Okay. 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 Five and five. 1 over 1 plus 1. Okay? Refer to the book. No? Then do cross multiply. Dy dx is y prime. Now. In this case, yeah, you put dy dx as y prime. Okay, carry on. I mark something here. Oh, so all you need to do is to cross multiply, then you will get like 1 plus x square. y prime is dy dx. You can leave it as dy dx, doesn't matter. Oh, it equals to y. Okay. That's equation 2. Okay, now this is your u, this is your v. Mm. Okay, this is your u, this is your v. Differentiate it again. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're differentiating the next time, right? Yeah. Cannot, cannot flip like that. Can only, must cross multiply. Cannot flip. You cannot flip the things like that. Okay, you have to cross the y multiply over to the right side, the 1 plus x squared multiply to the left side. Okay, then I have 1 plus x squared, differentiate d2y over dx squared plus. 2x dy dx equals to differentiate y becomes dy dx.
Mm. Why do you keep one plus x squared radians on the left side instead of one over y radians? No, I cross multiply. My y, my y goes to here. My this one goes to here. Look, I said that. Why can't you just keep one over y? Because once you find y, then when you calculate the integral to because it's a show that. So say again. Like because you later find the y, then when you sub back in. So then why can't you just like, keep one over y about your idea? Because when you sub back in, it's just one over y over the time. No, it's a, because it's a show that part one. You might have to show. You can see they want you to show. So, this is shown. Dy dx is y prime. Oh, yes. Understand? Dy dx is y prime. You will need D4Y, I think. You will need D4Y, huh? One self trying to measure it yourself. Uh. Uh, I'm still trying to be frustrating yourself. It's all just product rule with implicit differentiation. Okay, product rule with just with implicit differentiation. Don't copy. You really try to work it out and see whether you you get the same as mine.
differential part of the job. By differentiating part one? Yeah, but then like after that. Okay. This is part one, right? Where goes here? Part two is D2Y. Oh, yeah. Differentiate this to this. We got four. It's just very sim simple only. Am I this way? Where are you at? Where are you at? You. Wait, 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 Yeah, I don't, I don't do the last then you'll become one minus yeah i already i already put it simplified for you bring this over then you'll become one minus four x Below the number three, right? Mm. And the road below the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. I'm just making it simplify. One minus two x minus two x. I bring the minus two x inside, it will become one minus four x. Oh. And I, I need before y, so I differentiate again. Okay, yeah. uh, so see whether your before y is the same as mine. After you can get the pattern, it's actually very simple. You got number four? You sure you got number four? Or are you at number three? Are you at part three? As in equation three? You got four? Uh, never take away the two. Uh. Because if you differentiate two dy dx is two d two y dx squared. When you have a multiple, right, you, the two doesn't go away. Oh, the two only goes away when it's just a constant. Wait, Mr. Ivan. Yeah. After you apply the McLaurin thing, right? Then they then you sum your x as e power six pi over six, right? Sub yes. Sub your x as pi over six, not your on no, is x okay. The last part, huh? Yeah. E power inverse tangent x is equals to e power pi over six. So inverse tangent x is equals to pi over six. X equals to tangent pi over six, which is one over root three. Basically, sub x as one over root three. Hey, your your f zero all these values same as mine. Not? One 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 minus one and minus seven. Yeah, correct. Okay. Wait, why your e tangent inverse x equals to e power? Must relate this and this la. The question must relate the question la. There, the question already give you e e power tangent inverse x already what? So must relate la. Can see not? I'm just relate. I'm just relating this and this. Can see not? Yeah. 
Which part you don't get a uh, four or five? You got it, yeah. Then you got to do your working to submit a zero. Seven, man? Not minus seven, man. Mine is minus seven, though. Yours is seven or minus seven? Mine is minus seven. Man. Yeah, don't need to make the because x is zero, ma. One the x is zero, ma. So you see, you see a number three, right? Number three, ah. Uh? This is equation three, ah. Uh? X is zero, ma. So one plus zero, yeah. So you need to do this the rate rate part working out yourself, okay? Yeah. You see, after you sub when you sub in the x equals to zero, is it's quite simple. Your d3y is negative 1, right? I saw. Your d3y is 1 or negative 1? 1. 1 is negative 1. Look carefully. 4. 1 minus 1 is 2. 1 minus 2. You see, you screw up when you. Can you see? I do this rate parallel part. Never do this rate parallel part. That's why I screw up. Yeah. 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 Now, the question gives you, okay, so basically at the start, you did this, right, right, tangent inverse x, right, and by my, by the Maclaurin, right, we, we saw that y is equal to what? 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 6 minus x to the power of 4 over 1, 2, 0, right, 7. You got this, right? Yeah. Yeah, the question is asking you to find approximate to e power pi over 6 y isn't it obvious that this guy and this guy are equal Fair not. isn't it obvious that this guy and this guy you are not look yeah you cannot it's not just so, say, you are approximation supposed, doesn't mean sub x right? yeah it is sub x but what is your value of x tangent inverse x is pi over 6 what it's not x is pi over 6 you know because the question starts with e power tangent inverse x. That's why they ask you to do this long thing. Then this is where you say that, oh, can see not? Because this, they want you to relate this to him. Then very obvious, this is pi over 6, what, right? Then x is tangent pi over 6. Uh. And this okay. is where you, x is 1 over root 3, right? understand? Then you put it inside, you can get the final answer. Yeah, I understand. Mm, okay, you can go. Any yeah, part, uh, any one of you still getting trying to get from four to five? In Chen, you got five ready? You got five. You sub in your values already? Uh. Yeah. yeah, then sub it back to your McLaurin, no? that's all. Yeah. You got you got one 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 negative one negative seven? Yeah. Okay. You still aware? No. The D3Y is what? One, one minus six. Huh? No, your D3Y is what? Three lower, one, four, three, five, yeah. F triple prime zero is what? Negative one. Negative one. Then F4, just put in that. Just put in. What's, oh, yeah. What's so hard? Yeah. Okay. Then apply the Maclaurin theorem. Mm. You, oh, if you don't need the Maclaurin theorem, I'll just go to right here. Fx equals to f prime zero. Sorry, f zero. Plus f prime zero x plus f double prime zero over two factorial x square plus f triple prime zero 
over 3 factorial x cubed plus f 1, 2, 3, 4, 0 over 4 factorial. It's 4 factorial, it's not 5 factorial. It should not be 1 over 1, 2, 0, right? 4 factorial is 24, 7 over 24, huh? 